Crash has crashed. And can we get to Lockat? Where are you, Lockat? I can't find you. I don't remember. Um, uh, Android monitor. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I usually just get the terminal and type. Well, this terminal, the one on screen, <laughs> uh, inside Android boop, Studio. Boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm. We can see uh, ooh, that's something else. That's GSA. That's just no. Yeah, let's uh, okay, not let's... do the both at least. I mean, if you want to see. Yeah, or maybe we can. See, no. Yeah, I, I don't use this. <laughs> uh, Debug. No, a, a unit error. Debug is too verbose okay. still. Let's do that. Error. Doop, 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 doop. Mm, yeah. No, it's here. Oh, it's okay, here. Yeah, yeah. It's us. Yay. All right. So we tried to ah, create a component. So this is expected because yes. we. So now okay. we're going to fix our test. Yes. Uh, the main activity test. This is like TDD writing. Yeah. Like, because uh, we're in the red. Yeah, with the red <laughs> part now. So it's not working. So let's make it green. <laughs> so how do we do that? Mm. Um, so instead, uh, we are going to pass it to where we create a component. So we were. So we're going to need to do things in a slightly different way. Instead of um, creating our component here, we might want to start uh, creating it in a different that's, place, like that, in the test. That should be a test. Uh, if you click on the override, that should be a test uh, application. Yes, yeah. uh, multi yeah. application. Yeah. Great. So, um, so what about instead of this? Um, let's see. Let's see. Because we so we need to sort of change uh, some of the architecture before we were eagerly creating the component. Mm. But here, to create the component, we need to have the mock. And what I was going for, which is going to be requiring a little bit of change, is I would love for the main activity test uh-huh. uh, to basically, if you look at the code, right, it's like in setup, we get the instrumentation, and then we obtain the instance, and then we obtain the component. I would like to give the co- to create the component myself here. So instead of doing this, we would be doing um, uh, so dagger. Test component builder dot clock, and I'm going to give it the mug clock, which we don't have yet. Yeah. That build. Okay. So obviously that doesn't work with the approach we have right now, but um, and then I would be able to create put that into like a variable. Oop. I guess okay. If we still wait, let's you can we can use Mokito to make a yeah one of those. Uh, Mokito dot mark mm-hmm. clock dot dot class. class. Yep. Right. And then we're gonna extract a variable. It's gonna be all of the things. Why Wait, are what you are you oh, doing? did I rename it differently? Is it still full bar? Hello. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. In my builder, mm. the method should be this. The sorry, the the return type should be this. Oh, because it's a builder. That, that way you can have a fluid interface. Yes. Ah, right. Like, yeah, now, this is why pair programming is fun. You learn things that, I mean, yeah. if you do it right the first time, I wouldn't pay attention to it. So now I'm like, oh. <laughs> We're learning. Yeah. Uh, why is it not happy yet? Uh, uh, build. Oh, Probably what am I doing? It's not, it's not a test component that it's returning. It's a builder, obviously. And now it's not. <laughs> I was like agreeing with you. And, uh, yeah, I'm not a very good pair programming partner. <laughs> yeah, you should return something. But oh, yeah, yeah. So we have our, our app components or test components. Okay. Uh, so obviously, this is a different approach, right? Because before, the, the application was in charge of creating it. And yeah, now we're but saying, now how do we pass it back uh, to the application? Well, we're going to have to do things slightly differently. So here, the way we do this is we create a component eagerly mm. and then we uh, return it. Yeah. What if instead, um, yeah. We had the ability to uh, pass it in. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe actually, maybe what we want to override is mm-hmm. really just component. Um, so that um, I'm just going to take a bet here. It doesn't have to be that way, but uh, we could say that instead of we're overriding components, uh, and then here we're not overriding this. Ah, okay. And then here we have a. Uh, Public void set test component, and it, it can actually just take it. That's how component. this used to look, by the way. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, but people were force. mad that uh, not mad. I mean, just you know, people on the internet have opinion, <laughs> um, and they didn't like the fact that I'm setting 
uh, the a, a component a from component. the outside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that should be all right. Uh, what, I, what I get here is that we're creating it uh, lazily when we don't need to, but we could we could change that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so, but well, let, let, let's hold the verdict. Uh, let's see you completely refactor yeah, let's and try. see. Maybe it's I not. I might be going in the wrong direction. Yeah. Well, uh, well, no, no. I'm just thinking maybe it's not as richy as <laughs> you know as yeah. I'm having uh, flashbacks from you know, my so. my previous implementation because what happened was there was a function. Um, not on the mock one, on the main yep. demo uh, application that will set Thanks. the component so they can return and then the internet was not happy. Okay, <laughs> well let's see what the, the internet thinks about this. So we're, we're passing a test component to the mock demo application. Now what's nice about this is that this part doesn't really know, uh, like imagine you had several tests, you can still yeah. have one mock demo application and you just pass uh, each test can create its own oh, component, which is yeah. sort of what you had as an example here. If we look at the main activity test, uh, this specific test is creating its own test component. So now uh, we know how to create a component. Oh. Yeah, so this is not that bad because... Actually, can we get back to just the demo application? I just want to see... Uh, so we... So I mean... I don't so, know if you have anything, maybe we should just make an instance so we should, that it uh, like... We could make it lazy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's what I mean. And yeah. uh, we don't have uh, Kotlin, but we yeah, can... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, we, we can do that. Yeah. Uh, but, but, well, we can leave it as an exercise let's, to the let's reader. Go, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's, go, let's get to let's the good part. Let's move forward with the test. Yeah. And I just want to after. emphasize the fact that the set component is completely invisible from the app. Yeah. Like the app does not know anything about it. So we're, we're still yeah. good. We're still good. We're I still think the fine. internet will still be like, the, yeah. uh, the, it's, it's still very clean separation between yes. the app and the test. I mean, I can see why people don't like that reaching over. Uh, so, so. so we don't have this anymore. No. And now we're going to do... Um, test component.inject. Is that good? No, no, set no. it. No, no, set so it. So we're gonna we're gonna set it, right? Yeah, so we have our application. Set, yeah. Uh, set test uh, component. But it's not the right type. Um, but we know that our yeah, I know. Just uh, cast it to the right type. Yeah. Uh, demo application. You're right. Boop boop. Ta -da. And then and then set test component. I bet you can do this. Yeah. Yay, auto test component. Cool. So we have test components. Uh, it can inject this. Uh, but obviously, actually, we don't want to inject the clock. We care about having our mock clock. Actually, it's not obvious. Um, why Why do you say obviously right. we don't want to inject? I shouldn't say obviously, it's <laughs> not very not, not great to say. Oh, it was not obvious um, to me at all. <laughs> uh, so, so we have the clock here. We just created it. We have a mock clock. So we can just do this. And now we just set in our oh, setup method. Oh, so, so previously I was getting the mock clock through the test component. Yes. And now, now I'm actually having a clock and giving it back. So, so I don't it. need to I don't need to ask them for yeah. it again. It's just yeah. don't need to do that round yeah. trip. Oh, Which this means, input inversion is really messing with my crazy. head. <laughs> that means we can remove the inject method here, uh, and that because we don't we only used it to inject this uh, clock, and so we don't. So need no, to we do don't that need to even call inject. And now we can just stop calling inject. Wow. And. Uh, I think we're ready for um, small tests. Um, and then we can still, you know, do this when mock Because the clock was out. a member variable that yeah. we properly in instantiated. And then we can go to the mock clock module uh, and uh, doop, I guess you want to do this. And just get rid of it? Yeah. Boop. Wow. Magic. No more mock clock. Mm -hmm.